Excellent. Thank you everyone for joining the Lily channel. I love bringing entrepreneurs onto my channel and people who are doing something super important and super interesting. We've got Leo Dworsky here. Welcome to my channel. Hi. I'm so appreciative that you're making the time for me on a freezing Monday morning. And uh, I remember reading about your adventures on Facebook recently. Now, for everyone who is either watching or listening, Leo and I met maybe two years ago because he's the wonderful child of a friend of mine. Well, you're you're an adult now, my God. But uh, <laughs> your dad and I were in a networking group together and I met Leo and I thought, wow, this guy is interesting. And talk about a community leader, a vocal performer. You're an opera singer, for Christ's sakes. And a uh, piano teacher, a vocal teacher, a bar mitzvah master teacher, God. And then you just took yeah. a trip with Hasbara group, or how do, you, how do you pronounce it? Hasbara. Hasbara, okay, the Hasbara group to Israel. And that's what we're going to talk about today for a couple of minutes with about four questions, because I know very little about the Israeli situation and Leo's becoming, I, I would say, an expert on it and wants to share with the community his knowledge. Well, you tell me what your purpose was. How about that? What made you want to go with the group? Yeah. So throughout my life, I've always been passionate about Israel. I went to Jewish school from elementary school, middle school. Um, and when I was in seventh grade, I was in the synagogue uh, preparing for my bar mitzvah. And I walked in and I heard the cantor singing a beautiful piece entitled Havain Yakerli, which basically uh, emphasizes the love of God and people and Jewish history. And I remember at that moment, I was literally sobbing, just hearing the beauty of the melody. And it made me realize that I wanted to do something similar and fight for Israel, fight for the future. Um, so um, my first time in Israel, I went on a birthright trip, which is basically, uh, yeah, it's a 10 day trip for um, college students to go and just kind of get a taste um, of Israel. And I fell in love. So I um, found Hasbara through my uh, Minnesota Hillel, which is a Jewish student organization at the University of Minnesota, which is yeah. where I attend. I went through the interview process and um, got to go on the trip and it was a wonderful experience. I learned many, many things. It's, can you explain what the Israeli situation is? Because I, one of my goals is to be more aware of current events and that one just confuses the heck out of me. Yeah, for sure. I think uh, the best, well, first of all, I think it's important uh, to say that like, I'm not an expert on this situation. And um, I think that if you want to look for, um, you know, not looking for real sources, I can direct you to some. Okay, but fair enough. Basically, basically, the idea is that there were Israelis and there were Palestinians, and each of them sort of believed that they had the right to Israel and the resources that it had. Um, the Israelis sort of, uh, it was like an, it was an ancestral homeland for them. They believed that they had, you know, the right to defend themselves, defend their, um, defend their land. Um, but the Palestinians also lived in the land for hundreds upon hundreds of years. Um, and all of a sudden in 1948, when, um, Israel was sort of declared, uh, Jewish state, it kind of left the Palestinians blindsided because they were also in the land. And um they they um so it kind of made them feel a little bit ostracized from a place that they called home. So there's uh you know, there's been progress made, um, which I can talk about um with the conflict, but it's still ongoing. So 
that makes a lot more sense than what I've been trying to understand. I appreciate that. Wow. Yeah. And the, so I get a flavor for what made you want to go. Did you have a change of perspective once you spent time there or did it somewhat confirm what you thought? Tell me about that. Yeah. Um, during my uh, time on this fellowship, I um, talked with many uh, wonderful journalists, uh, Israeli journalists, Israeli activists. Um, I think that one of the big like impressions or things that I sort of got from this trip is that Israel, I feel like, does have allies and does have connections. I mean, Israel, you know, is a member of the United Nations. So mm -hmm. there's that. And they've had um, peace treaties with um, the surrounding countries. I believe it was 1994, 1976, or something like that with Jordan, Lebanon, um, and Syria. So it's surrounding uh, countries, which also has um made an impact um side note um one of the days i got to work with an organization called uh save your Ch save my child's heart oh, wow. um yeah which is an organization that uh works with palestinian children who were born with heart defects okay. so um and the uh this organization in israel uh sends these Palestinians over um, for free and gives them uh, these surgeries and honestly a new a new means of life you know yeah. it allows them to live much longer suitable sustainable lives um, so those are some of the things that um, Israel has done to sort of um, bridge the gap um, in the conflict so my God, that's, that's <laughs> incredible. Well, now like, what would you say were your top two impressions or takeaways from the whole experience? I think that um, definitely it's these people are real. They're real people and they have real struggles. Um, and it was just really cool. One of the experience I got was um, I went to this organization called Shorashim, which literally translates to roots um, in English. Um, and they um, gave us the opportunity to talk to an Israeli and a Palestinian at the exact same time. That's and, cool. Yes. And hearing each of their stories and being able to ask them questions was uh, amazing and hearing some of hearing some of the struggles uh, on both sides and i think both of them listening to each other was 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 big um i and then an, another I, I, <laughs> I guess another notable moment that i had was uh meeting with mati friedman who is a canadian israeli uh journalist mm -hmm. and he kind of views the uh, conflict from a more American perspective. Um, and I think that one of the things I realized from that is that even though this conflict is so political and there's lots of political unrest and um, of, of that nature, yeah. um, I feel like it's important to get a more nuanced perspective about the issue, looking at books and news articles, um, you know, not just social media, because social yeah. media has just become a crazy place um, in the last few years. So it's very true. Yeah. Um, how do you do? You think you've seen a conversation like that take place somewhere between Israelis and Palestinians, like what you witnessed, or do you think that maybe you might serve in that way to bring? I mean, I know that. That was a huge takeaway for you, but uh, it's, I couldn't help thinking that maybe that would be something you might try to create again, now that you've left the the tour, 
or has has it happened previously but it was it was different in reality you know what i'm saying yeah um i need some that would be that would be awesome i i i'm not really sure um <laughs> what what that would what that would look like um i i definitely um will continue i hope to write some articles oh, yeah. uh some, publish some some works about um the uh the the conflict maybe with a musical twist because that's kind of yeah i, I was just thinking about that <laughs> wow same wavelength on that one yeah and it's it, it's it would be incredible it, have you I'm assuming that you're hopefully keeping in touch with some of the people that you've met there, not just the tour attendees, but people you've talked with on location. I mean, like uh, Israelis that you met or Palestinians that you met to reconnect with them. If there's some way to do that, that would be incredible. And to give them an airspace to show others what you've learned. If anyone can do it, Leo Dworsky can do it. <laughs> that's that's amazing. And well, I guess that brings me to the last part. Well, what do you hope to do with the experience you've had? Yeah. Um, I well, I mean, to kind of answer what you were saying before, I did I met um a, I didn't really uh form a personal connection with the Palestinian. I think it's oh, oops. Uh, I think it's the, oh, sorry. Ah, okay. There we go. <laughs> um, I think, yeah, um, I think it's just the, 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 the relationships, um, especially with daily. Yeah. Um, meaning yeah, the Israelis. Yeah. Okay. Go on, go on. Sorry. Um, and forming connections um with them when i was on birthright um we had israelis there for almost the entire time huh? um so hearing their perspectives and hearing what they had to say was wonderful um yeah and i also hope to organize some events oh, wait, wait, wait. there you go <laughs> there we go um i also hope to organize some events uh, mm. and We'll see what happens definitely with a musical twist because that's what i love so that is so cool that's what i can't remember are you a tenor or what do you sing i'm a tenor yeah. oh my god I, I remember hearing you on minnesota public radio i think there was a contest that you won through that or Woo! yes yes that is tremendous and have you ever considered being a professional cantor yes Okay. Wow. <laughs> now, one of my favorite questions here is, aside from the community leader, from the vocal performer, the teacher, tell me a quirky thing about you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess something like a fun, if ever, if I'm in a circle and like someone's like, what's a fun fact like about yeah. you? Um, I would say my my name is Leo. Um, and my son I'm a I'm a Leo. My name is Leo. Oh. <laughs> and and my sign is Leo, but it was by accident. I was actually named after my great grandfather, um, who also liked music. So it's kind of, I feel like it's kind of like full circle, and then you know, finding out that my sign was Leo was was cool. So I like this. <laughs> I like that's it. A, wow. <laughs> is there something quirky about you that I don't know? <laughs> uh, that's a good question. Um, let's see here. I love improv acting and not many people know what it, about improv acting. Uh, if, for those of you listening or watching who don't know what it is, think of skits without scripts. You're throwing ideas from the audience and you go with it and it's super fun. If you want to laugh your butt off or make your sides hurt from laughing, that is one way to do it. It's incredible. It brings out your creativity and it's teamwork. It's 
fabulous. And I'm going to be implementing it tomorrow during Power Talk seminars, pizza panel program to help more business owners to market themselves, which is also kind of what I'm hoping to do with Leo here. But if there's somebody out there, are, do, are you still uh, open to clients for bar mitzvah, bat mitzvah training, or what kind of clients are you looking for? Yeah, um, I'm I'm pretty open. Um, I, I have my schedule, especially this summer, is pretty tight because I'm currently in Germany right now. So there's the <laughs> wow. Yeah, oh gosh, it is three twenty or something. Oh, yeah. So it's it's three twenty in the afternoon, um, and and then What's I had to Italy. There? Yeah. Oh my <laughs> then gosh. I had to Italy for an opera program. So busy but fun. Um, what, how long are you going to be there? Um, I am there for another month. So I leave. Yeah, middle of July. I didn't even know that you speak German. Or, or at least no, German. I'm not really that good at it. <laughs> Das ist unglaublich. <laughs> Nein. Ich spreche nicht Deutsch. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, my God. So, vielen, vielen Dank. Thanks so much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> danke schön. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Leo Dworsky, thanks so much for your time. And we will send this out to the world. And I thank you so much for being on. Send this out to your friends. Guys, gals. Click to subscribe, hit that reminder bell, and share away. Thank you for joining us. We'll chat with you soon. Thanks a lot, Leo. And I'm going to end the recording if I can find the button. Let's see here.